Alright, so I'm going to make a motorcycle diaper cake for my sister-in-law's baby, Gavin. Um, I got this off another woman's channel, and I'm just going to show you the things that I bought, because they're a little bit different. The things that I did. Cat's on the table. Um, my mom will link to her channel below in the description box, and she has a lot of other really cool ideas as well. So, I got 42 diapers, and they're size 2. You really only need 36, but they didn't have a package like that. I got this stuffed animal. Bibs, you really only need two, but the this was more cost efficient to get a pack of three. Just one cute one. I got some rings. I got three packs of the dollar store. Two um, bottle brushes. These, they have them at Walmart and Big Lots and Target, but these are the exact same things that are at the special baby stores, and they're at a dollar at the dollar store. I got these cute socks. Um, four receiving blankets at Target, and I got two um, pacifiers. If you'll notice, they're clear, and they have a green center, and those are going to look like really cool headlights, I thought. And you're going to need one sippy cup, and I like them with handles. It, I think it just looks better. I think that's it. Oh, and she used rubber bands. I'm going to try these hair ties and see how they work out, because her rubber bands were working pretty hard, and I would hate for them to snap. And then you're going to need yarn and tape and scissors. Um, All together, this was about $65, $66. I'm just going to count out 16 diapers for the first wheel. These are a size 2, so if you get newborn diapers, it might you might need more. Alright, slight change of plans. We decided to half the number of diapers in the package. There are 42, so there are 21 in each wheel because these diapers are a little thinner. So I'm just going to start from the opening part and just roll it. Then just keep rolling them. And if you are doing this with a rubber band, you can put the rubber band on whenever you want. I think it's easier to just roll as many as possible and then do the rubber band. I just had a thought, children's headbands might be easier because they're a little bit tighter so you won't, it won't be as loose. So now I'm going to go around and make sure the edges are nice and even, I'm not sticking up any. And that's how it looks like. Now daddy's going to put the spokes on. Okay. I'm just using a really long pair of needle nose pliers. Uh, but you can use a crochet hook or just poke your finger through there or whatever. But I'm just going to stick this through here and grab the end of it. And pull it through. And then I'm going to work this around. And then you make, uh, basically you just keep uh, keep going around in circles, moving a little bit as you go around, and um, you know, go around and then I'm gonna poke this back through this hole. Give me a hold button. And get Ashley to hold this, just to make sure it doesn't come out. But pull it really good and tight. Especially the first couple ones. And then just scoot over a little bit. And then move over a little bit. But you gotta move over on the inside as well as the outside, so. The trick is to make sure you pull it really good and tight.
Then when you get around to the end, you've got one more spoke to do. Take your end here. I'm just going to get cut this off. And I'll pull it really good and tight. We're just trying to get the, the bear. Pull it really good and tight. Is a good tie. And Ashley's going to hold that, and I'm just going to tie a knot. You can tie a bow if you want to make it a little easier, but um, we like a challenge. So. And then just cut. There you go. Ta da! And there's the two wheels. These are my four receiving blankets. Um, I'm going to pick the two chevron patterns just because they kind of match to go around the wheel. I think it's cute that they match, but if you don't want yours to match, they don't necessarily have to. Okay, so now I have my other receiving blanket, and you're going to fold it to where it's as thick as diapers. It took me a ton of tries to get that one. Um, that's what it's supposed to end up looking like. It seriously took me forever because that's too big. I can already tell. That's too big. <laughs> She got it perfect the first time that, I think her name is Thom. I don't know how. I have no idea how she did that. It was really impressive. Okay. So on the other one I used gray, so just to keep with the theme. And it will hang over a little bit. You're not going to get it perfect, but who's going to be a jerk enough to point out how not perfect it is. Okay, so now I'm going to get it as tight as possible around the edge. And that's what it's going to look like. And I'm trying to get it as centered as possible just because that makes things easier. Okay, so I have this really cute ribbon. I got it from Walmart. It's just brown with green dots. Um, so I'm going to start it over here, and this is really just to cover up the hair tie or the rubber band, depending on what you use. I'm just going right over. Now you're just going to get a piece of like normal office tape that you use, it's clear. And just secure it. So now you're going to take your another receiving blanket and you're just going to roll it up really, really, really tightly. I'm trying to make it as even as possible because it would bother me if it was lopsided. I think I'm going to use these clear hair ties. Um, one on the end. Those are just clear hair ties. You get them like a pack of a 200 or something at Walmart. And then one on the other end. That doesn't look too attractive. And then I'm going to use one of these for the middle. Okay, so I'm going to take the ugly part of the wheel, the part with the tape and where the blankets meet. We're going to put that on the bottom because nobody wants to see that. We're going to take your favorite bib because this is the one that's going to be in the front and you're going to put it on top like that. You're going to take the receiving blanket that you, that you just folded, place it inside of the wheel, right in the middle, and you're going to make sure they even up. Take your sippy cup and it needs to have handles because it needs to slide in there like so. You're going to tie one of these. Around like that. You're going to roll up the fourth receiving blanket like the other one, but this one needs to be really tight because it has to fit with the other one. Well, you'll see in a minute. This one needs to be round. The other one I kind of folded flat a little bit, but this one has to be round because it's, um, I don't know what part of the motorcycle it is, but it just has to be round. 
Okay, so we're gonna take our wheels. Remember, put your ugly parts on the bottom. Now we're gonna take two more of our clear elastics, put one on each end. Now we're going to put it through. See how it has to fit with the other receiving blanket as well? So it needs to be kind of. Okay. okay, so I got another clear elastic. And you're just going to take them, tie them together. I really don't want this to snap. On my hand. And I'm going to just kind of, kind of tuck it underneath the wheel like that. Okay, so I used my 42 pack of diapers. So to use the seat, she used more diapers, but I'm going to use three washcloths. So I need them to be able to stick together, so I'm just going to try some tape. We use three, they're new, they're off-white. You could use any color you want, though. That you want it to be as tight as possible. Because you don't want them flopping all over the place. Alright, so now I'm going to take it, like so. We're going to shove it in between the wheels. I'm going to try to be really careful. Now I'm just taking these rings off of this hook. I got three packs at the dollar store. You're gonna put this. The bib is gonna be the back fender. You're gonna put your diaper brush or diaper brush, your bottle brush <laughs> in. And I don't know what these are called. Daddy, what are these called? Exhausts. Yeah, exhaust pipes. Yeah, they're gonna be exhaust pipes. I knew that. And and that one's a little bit too low for my face. I'm gonna pull it a little bit. So now you're gonna take your rings and just put them around your pipe thing that goes around. Okay, so this part's going to be a little bit tricky, and I'm going to have to fiddle with this a little bit. But you're going to put ribbon around the seat to kind of cover it up just to make it cute. Okay, I don't have enough ribbon to wrap this around the seat like I thought I did. So I'm just going to put it on one side like this, and then just tape it down. This tape does not like to stick to these washcloths at all. Okay, I need to make a little correction. Um, you need to have two rings, hopefully, of the same color if you can. So then you're going to take the two rings and slide them over. And this will hide the twisty down at the bottom. Um, then I need to make another correction. I realized that this would look much better if the sippy part, if the... What is that called? Nipple. The, oh, that's weird. Oh, it's on the top side. See, that just looks a little better. Okay, now you're going to take your two pacifiers. We found these at Big Lots, and they were $4. Um, they're really nice. They, they're clear with the bright green in the middle, so that just, it just looks like a headlight. So you just tuck it in. And tuck this one in. And you might have to put it in, like, if you're going to use it as a centerpiece for a baby shower, which is what we're going to do, you might want to take them off and just put them in whenever you're ready. 
Um, we got this big pack of socks for Big Lots for six dollars. There are four different pairs. I picked the Elmo socks to use as the handlebars because I like them the best. The handle grips. You're just gonna take it over. Put it right over the top. Make sure it goes all the way up to the toes. <laughs> that looks so weird. It's cute though. I'm gonna do this one. Okay, now you're just gonna fold it down. And you might have to hold it for a little while to get it to stay. So we moved the diaper cake into the room of the baby shower. This is our dining room. Um, I put the bear on and situated him to where you couldn't see the tape on the ribbon that's over the seat. And I just put the headlights in once we got him to the table. It's pretty cute.